In this video, we will learn how to fix api-ms-win-crt-sino.dll is missing from your computer. So let's begin. So to solve api-ms-win-crt-sino.dll error, what you have to do is just go in the description and there will be a link to this page. Just go and click on that and you will be redirected on this page. Once you are here, what you have to do is just scroll down below and here just go and download the 32-bit as well as 64-bit file. Download both of these files. Don't worry, we will solve the problem for 32-bit operating system as well as 64-bit operating system in this video. Once you have downloaded both of the file, what you have to do is just go to your this PC. We have to first check what kind of system we have. Either it is 32-bit or 64-bit. For that just go to your this PC, right click it and here click on properties. And here against the system type you can see what kind of OS we have. So we have 64 bit operating system. So you can check yours. Don't worry in this tutorial we will solve the problem for 32 bit operating system as well as 64 bit operating system. Now what you have to do is just go to your downloads. So here they are. Just go and extract of both the files, extract them, now the 64 bit. So in this tutorial we will first solve the problem for 32 bit operating system then for 64 bit operating system. So for 32 bit operating system what you have to do is just go and copy the 32 bit DLL file, copy it. Now what you have to do is just go and open your this PC. Go to local disk C. Here go to windows. And here search for system 32. Scroll down below and go to system 32. Here it is. Open that and paste the 32 bit DLL file here. So the problem for 32 bit operating system has been solved. Now. We will start the pro uh, to solve the problem for 64 bit operating system. For 64 bit operating system first go and copy the 32 bit DLL file. Copy 32 bit DLL file. Go to windows folder as opened earlier. And here just go and search for sysvow64 folder. Here it is sysvow64. Open that and paste the 32 bit DLL file here. Click continue. Once you have done so go back. To windows folder and now we have to copy the 64 bit DLL file for that just go to your downloads go to 64 bit DLL file here it is just go and copy the 64 bit DLL file copy it and here go to windows folder as opened earlier here it is in the C drive and here just go and search for system 32 folder here it is system 32 open that and paste the 64 bit DLL file here. Paste it here. Click on continue. Now the problem for 64 bit operating system has also been solved. So if you still have any confusion or errors, what you can do is just go and give it a read. These are the instructions. So hope by doing so your issue will be resolved. But before you go, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.